Hello, everyone. How are you today? Welcome to Astro Life on Instagram. Once a week, I will invite an astrologer to join me to discuss current transit. And today, it will be my pleasure to invite my good friend Israel to join me to talk about the upcoming Aries in Greece. So let me invite uh, um, Israel to join me. I know you've been waiting for a long time. So, I mean, this coming up week, it would be really busy. We have Aries in Greece, we have Mars into Pisces. Hello, Hello. My friend. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, eventually. Yay. <laughs> How are you? I mean, Man, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. It, it is so nice to every time to chat to you, it's like it's so positive. Oh, and your thank love you, thank you. Just, you know, <laughs> make us feel so warm and I'm yeah. even happy. This is what exactly we need yes. when you look outside the sky. Exactly, very dull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are very you? Dull. How are you? How are I'm you? good, you? I've been good, been busy, uh, yeah, racing up and down. I don't know, I, I think maybe the Mercury, because I know Mercury. You know he's been speeding ahead. You know we're gonna he's gonna be going retrograde in a few weeks' time, and yeah. I, and I think maybe I think he's started the shadow period already. So maybe I'm just <laughs> a, I've just been finding little just little bits of Mercury pre retro Mercury retrograde stuff. You know uh <laughs> coming up so well yeah. i think i think if we look at yes it, it could be the the like this kind of pre-shadow but i think yeah. also mercury is a step into conjunct with chiron and that's right we can we can that's notice right. that chart uh we can notice it in the aries english chart english chart uh for what tomorrow or tomorrow yeah I'm, I, I already noticed a few for you astrologers couldn't wait and they already post today I said, aries english, okay. <laughs> Come on, Come on so, man. Uh, 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 you know, one day of a winter. Tw please. 24 24 hours, <laughs> just 24 hours. <laughs> but uh, yeah. we know, we know that type of cardinal energy. Yes. If you exactly. Are beginner, if you are a beginner, you have to learn that cardinal yeah. sign, they can't wait. They can't Maybe wait, you can't wait. Like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, uh, some people are well already, like, uh, for well starting to counting as a springtime when the yes. first of March. Oh, exactly, uh, exactly. Mm, yeah, really? yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> I've been getting a lot of that. But I'm also wondering as well that perhaps maybe uh, the fact that the sun, I mean, at the moment uh, or since even early this today, it's been at 29 degrees. You know, so it's at that anoretic degree, yeah. and it's the last degree of the zodiac also as well. So yeah. I think there's that, you know, that urgency to want to 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 <laughs> to, 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 to make a shift. You know, so yes. yeah, get me out of here. I exactly. Don't really this anymore. Exactly. Well exactly uh, yeah could be you know could be could be yeah. yes but what is really interesting is uh, how do you see this um aries ingress chart um the aries ingress chart is looking very very interesting um yeah. because uh for me i mean there's so many variables um i mean uh, Ma, uh the, the sun will move into the thing um we've still got quite a few planets we've got venus saturn uh, 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 Neptune, of course, obviously in Pisces, so the sun is going to leave that, uh, you know, uh, you know, behind. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I focus on is the dispositor. Yeah. And obviously, you know, where is Mars? You know, because it's his sign that the sun is going to be ingressing into, and you know, it's also the zodiac sign where the sun is exalted, also as well. So, what's happening behind the scenes mm -hmm. is something that mm -hmm. I'm focusing on. And we got this Mars in Aquarius, who's kind of just doing his lonely kind of thing. He's not, <laughs> uh, you know, not really making any aspects to because also as well, we've got this bunch of planets all in within a space under 120 degrees. They're all within, you know, from uh, uh, one degree where Pluto is in Aquarius mm. to uh, 20 degrees of where Uranus is. Everything is shut there. The only planet that is managed to go around is the moon, yeah. of course. You know, uh, so this, this, this quickly. So Mars is not really making kind of any aspects. He's kind of a bit of a loner. He's <laughs> alone there in the wilderness in the sign of Aquarius. You know, and he's of course he's getting ready to move into Pisces in 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 the next few days or so. But you know, I, I feel it's a really it's a very interesting uh, um, if you want to say uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, Aries ingress, you know, uh, you know, starts to the spring. It's it feels for me a bit weird. I feel like what's going to happen is we're going to shift into this Aries ingress. Okay, start of the spring, new zodiac sign Aries. I think we're going to feel the urgency mm. of yes, go go go. <laughs> but uh -huh. there's going to be some confusion of where are we going? Yeah. It's like it's like it's almost like there's going to be this huge amount of energy that's like yes, it's directing us. Everybody's going to be having this right. Okay, we need to start new start, new energy, new beginning. You know, potency activation initiation. Mm. Okay, but mm -hmm. what 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 are we doing? I, and I feel that is what is going to happen. There's going to be it's it's going to be a, a rebel w w w without a cause or something. It's mm. going to be like potency, but a bit of lack of direction. And I think it may be like that for some time. And then over the course of the next coming weeks, and especially with the eclipses coming up, which I'm sure we'll speak about in a moment. Yeah. Then we start to get a sense of ah, okay, this is where we need to be heading. Mm -hmm. Yes, I 100% agree with you. Is that uh, sun is pretty close to that Neptune and is so yes. confused. It is pretty yes. confused. And the Saturn yes. was next by, and Venus conjoined with Saturn. Yes. Venus has that final say with, uh, as a, as a exactly. final dispositor of a holy strength. It's kind yes. of like, yeah, we, we are kind of, we know something, but that there is a beautiful, beautiful dream there. Yeah, beautiful yeah, dream exactly. There, hanging there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, push us forward, but <laughs> yeah. it, it is not easy. Easy, so, exactly. Uh, yeah, another thing I think of that Mercury, we just talked about Mercury because we yes. say it's a kind of a, probably is around that pre shadow area, yes. but the Mercury is very tightly conjunct with Chiron. Yes. And during the Mercury ritual gray period, it will. It will come, cross the Chiron 3. Chiron, line, pop, come through, yeah, bam, bam, bam. Yes, 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 yes. How and do so, you, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, we've got the wounded healer here, yeah. of course. Uh, and I feel I feel the Mercury hitting the Chiron is going to be extremely important. Mm. And because when we look at Mercury, we have to remember that Mercury is a messenger. Mm -hmm. and, and he's the messenger of the gods. So what is going to happen when the messenger of the gods meets the wounded healer? Mm. I feel like there has to be some kind of communication mm -hmm. so i feel that mercury is going to be showing us telling us communicating with us the the the, the world's pain mm -hmm. essentially mm -hmm. we're going to be feeling the world's pain and there's a lot of that especially with a lot of the wars that are going on and different situations that people are finding themselves in i feel here is where we are going to really hear a lot of information on a lot of news about the people's pain and what it is that we need to heal. It probably will point us to a direction of things that we need to heal. We may also hear a lot of information during this time, during this conjunction, maybe to do with hospitals, mm -hmm. health, uh, doctors, nurses, um, maybe certain illnesses or something like that, uh, maybe disabled people, um, you know, and things of that nature because we do know that Chiron also as well, um, you know, Chiron acts like a bridge yeah. in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. So I feel Mercury hitting the Chiron can serve as a bridge where both mm -hmm. of them together can serve as a kind of bridge that is connecting us to another world that we are perhaps not recognizing and that we need to recognize in order for our healing process also as well. So I think actually Mercury hitting uh, Chiron actually will be, a, 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 you know, can and, you know, will be a very positive thing mm. in some kind of way. And it will make us become more aware of the world's pain in some kind of way that we need to attend to, that we need to heal. Things that we perhaps maybe been ignoring or we've just, now it's like, okay, you need to attend to it now and pay more attention to it. And it's in areas, so we need to act on it also as well. So, yes. Yeah.
thank you for bringing us the positive mind. If you ask me, because I usually have like a morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I see the Mercury, Mercury Cairo, are you thinking, oh my God, traffic problem? And then maybe yeah. it was the numbers, the figures, a uh, spreadsheet correction, yes. and uh, maybe correct of the national budget or the, uh, yeah. we are not going to achieve this year's, uh, this year's goal. So I'm really sorry. And uh, let's close the stock, uh, stock market downturn. Well, uh, yes. I, no, I yeah. have to say. I think I we might like, get more of that. Where I would, I totally agree with you. But I feel we might get more of that on the retrograde. I think when it's coming back on the retrograde, we will probably experience more of that. Yeah. But when he's going direct, I feel it will it can help us and it can point towards a, perhaps a part of humanity's healing process that needs to be mended, that needs to be fixed. What is it that needs to be fixed? It's quite interesting that you should say about the roads because it just even, I think just yesterday or day before yesterday, mm -hmm. I noticed that on the news, one of the big things that they kept talking about was the potholes in the road and they need fixing and well, the council will need to fix all the roads and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. And that is definitely a Mercury Chiron thing. Like this thing needs fixing, definitely, you know. Definitely. Yeah. And you were, what you say about the healing process and about the kind of wounded healing, I think that remind me that one last thing I really want to talk about is the moon opposite Pluto. Right. Whoa, right. And, uh, you know, because <laughs> in 2020, second, we have a similar pattern in the Aries English chart and the uh, to, uh, we have the moon square Pluto at that right. year. And that and, uh, year yes. was exactly happened um, in the, I mean, well, uh, Russian Ukraine war started. And then um, um, the, uh, I think the road waves uh, in the United States being over 10. So right, the, right. The abortion right have been taking away, uh, not, not protect, that, that I don't want to say taking <laughs> away, but kind of. <laughs> but but, but uh, this, this moon Pluto opposition is kind of a hit hard. Uh, again. Yes, 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 definitely. Uh, I think moon Pluto is very, very important indeed. Because, and especially in a, when we're looking at the chart as a whole, because the moon represents the people. Yeah, you know, and, and when we get like a moon Pluto, you know, moon Pluto is, uh, you know, very stuff to do with insecurities and paranoia, and it can be very toxic, and there mm -hmm. can be issues with power and change and all these kinds of insecurities that, uh, you know, but we know that Pluto, again, is the planet of change and transformation. Yes. So uh, uh, perhaps this is also... Uh, uh, allowing us to see a certain profound change and transformation which is needed in within the masses because the moon will represent the people, will represent the masses. Um, uh, it's an opposition though, however, yeah. which is a very difficult aspect. So we may experience um, a power struggle in some kind of way, yeah. you yeah. know, uh, and, and we, we, we may be, uh, you know, be caught up in this kind of... Uh, power struggle, maybe against people who are in power. Pluto can represent mm. powerful mm. people, yeah. bankers, uh, plutocrats, mm -hmm. aristocrats kinds of people. Mm -hmm. So it's the people versus the people in power and uh, or the elite, we could kind of say. And we could perhaps maybe experience that as well. Because let's not forget, you know, the chart for the ingress uh, 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 into Aries is kind of like a chart which was actually used which will tell us, uh, especially for over for over the spring season, yeah. so for the next oh. three months, yeah, yeah, we will see this kind of energy. So this moon Pluto is going to be playing out definitely over the course of the next, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you know, three months at least, at yeah. least that it probably <laughs> probably even more. You know, if we really want to say, we can say it's for the year because this is uh, kind of like a new year also as well. So yes. it may be something that goes on until next year as well. So. Moon Pluto, it's really about people versus the power uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, against um, uh, the people, for example, um, like I say, the elite, the, the uh, aristocrats, the plutocrats, yeah. uh, um, capitalism, you know, uh, with Pluto, we have to remember there's always some kind of extreme. Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, again, we have to, uh, and a lot of, it, it's going to bring up a lot of insecurities within people, a lot of mm -hmm. insecurities, uh, um, um, uh, people feeling powerless because Pluto brings 
power either feeling powerful or powerless which mm -hmm. one which side of the coin is it that we are going with mm. so we're going to be getting this seesaw people against the power mm. you know so yes yeah. yeah so before we move into the uh lunar eclipse chart yeah. so yes. could you give us uh, some some like uh, some idea what we can use what we can use for this chart and what kind of energy we can adopt from this you know use this uh aries english chart to empower our life yeah i feel we need to especially because we're coming up to the eclipse season as well mm -hmm. i feel we're coming up to a very important place uh, you know, in the world or, and in our lives, of course, it will work on an individual level on some sort, where we need to be clearing out the old. Mm -hmm. We need to now be looking at areas of our life and what is it that is no longer needed and mm -hmm. what is it where we need to make very profound changes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to be prepared to maybe let certain things go. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to, like, uh, uh, reassess where we are at in our lives and look at how it is that we can better it uh, uh but uh, you know we, we we cannot you cannot have the new without the old yes uh, you know so something needs to die in order for something to live so we have to be looking at what is it that we need to eliminate and i think that is also part of that moon pluto also as well because yes. pluto is also about elimination it's about mm -hmm. getting rid of stuff pluto essentially is about really sort of like you know letting go of things it's also, of course it's about transmutation transformation but it's also about eliminating certain things eliminating certain you know pluto is kind of like a, a recycler in some kind of way so mm -hmm. we have to kind of really look at okay what is it that we need to let go of that needs to be recycled and how is it that we can definitely take it forward and i feel we're getting a lot of opportunity with that and the nodes also are going to be also a part of that story which we'll talk about in a moment we, it's it, it, it's like this is a build up mm -hmm. to the eclipse season and this is letting us know that okay it, it, it's the spring equinox this is always about new beginnings mm -hmm. it's always about potency and it's about really moving uh, 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 you know uh, uh, ahead and forward and being productive but we have to be prepared to let certain things go. The world is always changing. We have to adapt and we have to make these changes. Yep, I agree with you. And I hope, I sincerely hope, this process would be more smooth as a Sun, six style Pluto in, yes. this, uh, in this Aries English chart. And uh, yeah. we just have a feedback that very much feeling the energy, uh, uh, this energy, and that has been, been here been, been for a while now. Wow, I, I now, agree, yes. Agree. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we are, I think we already stepped into the eclipse season and also yeah. the moon wobble season. So the first things we're going to encounter is the uh, next Monday, uh, 25th of March, we, we are going to have a lunar eclipse. Well, That's in the UK, we can see the beginning of it and then yeah. a uh, followed by the sunrise where we yes. can't see it anymore. But <laughs> we, we, we can see the head, we can see the beginning of it. The, the beginning of it. That's right. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how are you going to interpret these? What should we be? Well, you know, focus on for this lunar eclipse. This lunar eclipse is very, very interesting. Um, and um, it, it's quite interesting because we've got two. The first one is going to be in Libra. We've got the lunar eclipse, full moon eclipse in Libra. It's going to be at five degrees of Libra. Um, it, I find it very, very Venusian uh -huh. in, in many ways because, of course, it's going to be in the sign of Libra. Yeah. And Libra, we know, is ruled by the planet Venus. And mm -hmm. Venus is actually in Pisces at the moment, mm -hmm. where she is exalted. Mm -hmm. um, she is a little bit close to Saturn, so I think that's good. I think there can be some anchoring because of that. Yeah. But again, eclipses are always about new beginnings and endings, doors mm -hmm. opening and closing. Mm -hmm. I, I refer to the eclipses as the inhale and exhale in ah. some kind of way. Um, and this is going to be in the sign of Libra, this full moon eclipse. And Libra, we know it's about the balance. It's about fairness. It's about justice. Mm -hmm. It's about the equilibrium. It's about um, our, uh, our approaches towards relationships mm -hmm. in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. And I feel the Venus in Pisces is really about, is showing us some compassion that we need to be also uh, um, uh, be using and relying on, uh, uh, again, uh, you know, with this, uh, you know, with, with this eclipse. 
I don't think this eclipse is so explosive, even though it's a full mm -hmm. moon eclipse. Yeah. Uh, full moons are always bringing things to fruition. Mm -hmm. They are always bringing things to uh, uh, to completion in some kind of way. They are illuminating in some kind of way. They are manifesting. Uh, and again, we have to remember that each uh, lunar eclipse repeats itself every 19 years. Mm -hmm. So it's always very important for people to look at if they are of that age where they can look back 19 years ago, mm -hmm. 2005, around mm -hmm. about this time, what mm -hmm. was happening in your life, mm -hmm. what was finishing and what was beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe even what was impacting maybe in your relationship life. Mm -hmm. Were there any changes? Were there anything new that was happening? Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is what this full moon eclipse essentially is about. Mm -hmm. um, the full moon eclipse may also have a little bit of destructiveness, uh, uh, um, uh, or, you know, with it also as well. The reason why I say that is because it's the full moon and mm -hmm. the moon is going to be on the side where the south node is uh -huh. so i feel like this full moon eclipse coming up it's a full moon eclipse it's bringing something to fruition based mm -hmm. on something in the past mm -hmm. based on something that we have experienced or where there was a turning point in our life 19 years ago mm -hmm. Uh, uh, and also as well, because there would have be also been a, some kind of a, a new moon around that degree 18 months mm -hmm. ago. So mm -hmm. also in October of 2022. Mm -hmm. So around mm -hmm. that time, there would have been a new moon in Libra and it would have been around that degree. Mm -hmm. So I, I urge people to see what was happening in your life. What was beginning new 18 months ago? Because it's about to come to fruition mm -hmm. right about mm -hmm. now based on what we planted 18 months ago with that new moon around that time. So we're looking at 19 years ago, eight, uh, approximately about 18 months ago also mm -hmm. as well, to see some correlations as to what is happening in our life. But I feel Venus being the dispositor of this full moon eclipse is really going to be telling us the story. And it's in Pisces, where it's all about worldly love. It's all about letting go. It's all about the bigger picture, the sacrifice, the word in love, the idealism. So I think we could, we may get a bit idealistic with it, definitely, for sure. But mm -hmm. I think the conjunction with Saturn, or not too far because she's separating mm -hmm. from Saturn, but or she will be at that time, but she'll be, but Saturn is there in the mix to be able to bring some realism, some concreteness to the, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to the picture. But uh, it's the second one. It's the solar eclipse, which happens two weeks later in Aries. And that is the big one for me. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah. That is the one that I'm very much keeping my eye on. One of the reasons why it's a solar eclipse, when there is a solar eclipse, which is a new moon eclipse, it's the sun that has the power. Mm -hmm. A lunar eclipse is the moon that has the mm -hmm. power. So this solar eclipse, eclipse is going to be quite potent because it's a solar eclipse the sun is also exalted not only that it's going to be at 19 degrees of aries and mm -hmm. this is the exaltation degree of the sun so i feel we need to be very um aware of what it is that we are initiating or what we are starting Mm -hmm. But again, it's quite interesting because when we look at the dispositor for, for Aries, mm -hmm. for this, Mars is also going to be in Pisces as well. Yes. So I feel that there is something here. There's a huge energy that is this cardinal energy, these eclipses in this cardinal sign. We're getting a huge amount of energy to move forward, mm -hmm. to plow forward. Mm -hmm. But at, behind it, it's saying... Yes, move forward, initiate, start something new, go big. Uh, uh, but while you are doing it, do it with compassion. Mm -hmm. uh, think of the collective. Think of the bigger picture. Think of the sacrifice. So we are initiating, but we are also have the thoughts and the feelings and the compassion and the empathy of other people also as well in our lives. And I feel that's how we need to work with these particular eclipses. 
They are wow. very, very important indeed. <laughs> because we've got a lot of planets in Pisces still. Mm -hmm. Even though the Aries is there, there's a lot of planets in Pisces that, that are, uh, um, yes, uh, um, uh, we still got a lot of Piscean energy at hand. Yeah. You know, and, and both dispositors of both of the eclipses are in Pisces. Wow. Thank you, thank you, Israel. I mean, you are totally, totally nailed it. And uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what I can add in more. Uh, yeah. it's so well <laughs> impact and so well complex. I think Terry just mentioned about, I love your way uh, to, the, yeah. the, 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 to include a metonic cycle. Yes, in, indeed, metonic yes. cycle is so important in all the new nations, yes. including the, the new moon, full moon and eclipse, especially. Yeah. I really love that. What do you, what you done in 18 months ago and will have an impact and reveal in this lunar eclipse. Yeah. This is pretty important. This is so important. And so as this solar eclipse, 18 months after, we may go yeah. to see something turns out. But yeah. This is yeah, a definitely. solar eclipse. It's even bigger. It's even bigger. Oh, yeah. Bigger. yeah it's a big 19, 19 years. So, so the yeah. year is a 19 year journey, especially if someone has like personal planet yeah. or angle yeah. around the 19 degree uh, cardinal sign. And that yes. would be really personal. It would really take that very personal. Most otherwise, definitely. I think the, the person who has the, the um, cardinal sign uh, has an important planet in the cardinal sign. They also can more or less feel it. You know, yes. More or less feel it. Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's very yeah. initiating. I yeah. mean, if we look back at 19 years yeah. ago in yeah. 2005, yes. uh, because that's when we would have had the uh, the eclipse that would have repeated that yeah. at that 19 degrees, yeah. also as well. And I think also what's also important with this eclipse is that it's with the North Node. Mm -hmm. So it's it's we know the North Node has a more kind of spearheading kind of energy to mm -hmm. it. It's going to, you know, in that, uh, you know, forward direction. But what yeah. was happening in 2005? Well, 2005, we have to remember, that was the year when, uh, for us, obviously, in London, UK, we experienced the, uh, uh, the, the, the London bombings. You know, yes. it was only a few years after 9-11 uh, yeah. with all the terrorist stuff. So things were very, very much heated around, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you know, quite intense around this time, uh, and a lot of people were experiencing. Well, this was uh, the, the lunar eclipse that, um, you know, just a few months before that, uh, all that 7-7 mm -hmm. bombing and mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. when it all started. So, you know, it's quite interesting to, if we can go back in our, you know, our lives and see, well, what was happening then? With, because there will be a similar, it's not going to be exactly the same, because the planets sure. were not in the same place, but there will be a similar theme in terms of, mm -hmm. again, endings, new beginnings, what door is shutting, what is ending, and what is it its beginning. Where are we spearheading our yeah. uh, areas of our life to? But we have to mention that we have to, whatever it is that we are doing and whatever it is we are initiating ourselves, because of the dispositor in Pisces, we must do it with universal love, mm -hmm. with compassion, with, yeah. yes, with integrity. And trying to look at the bigger picture. There can even be a sense of perhaps needing to sacrifice ourselves because of that pie behind the screen, that Pisces uh, energy mm -hmm. there. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Israel. You always bring us, you know, such informative <laughs> yes. in a very, very short time. And uh, I always yeah. appreciate it. Not only your positive energy and your positive view, <laughs> but also yes. your knowledge. Oh, my God. I oh, definitely yeah. <laughs> need to invite yeah. you to, you know, to give a... To, to, to give a webinar in our school to share with our Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. God, your, 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 your knowledge is like a fantastic oh, and so Oh, thank well you, thank amazing. you, thank you very thank much. Thank you so thank much you. for joining us no today. You covered problem. from everything Greece. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, Greece. yes. Whole impact. But I have to say uh, for everyone, um, yesterday, uh, last night, me and uh, with uh, Kenan Yasin and uh, uh, Benson uh, from, from, from Hong Kong and also Grace, we have a tiny talk about the Aries English chart tour to China area. But right. Kenan, he was a fantastic. He really focused on the, you know, the West Asia and uh, and Israel um, Palestine conflicts. Con conflict, like, yes. Wow, that was like a blow my mind out. Oh, mind blowing. I, I, I'm going to. I'm going to uh, upload that video very soon, and uh, I'm yeah. just like uh, stay in tune, invite everyone. Thank you, Kenan. is fantastic. But uh, hey, my friend is. Thank you are fantastic. Thank you. Thank, you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Many of our, our audience will say, 
Wow. I, I wish I could give that earlier. But thank you so much for joining us. And no I problem. Wish I could thank you. Happy you back very soon. Yes, of course. Anytime, back. anytime. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to be on the channel. Yes, Always a thank pleasure. You. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>